Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with the Dr. Atahar Parvin. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe this uh, channel for uh, more uh, content based on uh, HSTR. Here I am to make a uh, few new year resolutions for uh, all of us who really want to crack uh, HSTR 2023 and get this uh, government job. The first resolution which I am bringing here today is uh, making notes. How do you make notes? I will tell you. Once you watch the video class, if you feel that I have attended the class for the one time, I have understood everything. Such people, they can make notes while they are watching for the first time only. There are few people who feel that they won't understand in the first class. They try to watch it in the second time. Such people who are watching class second time, they should not make notes in the first watch. They have to make notes in the second watch only. So that will give you more clarity and there and then only you will become perfect with that part of the class. You don't have to come back also. In future, maybe when you feel that you have forgotten something, that notes will be there with you, you know. You come back and read that notes. You don't need to watch the class also for the third time. Okay. Next is what you can do is, to make the notes, you have to buy some new long notebooks. But I prefer loose sheets. Why I prefer loose sheets means, see, first class I have watched. See, for example, I am taking current electricity. I have watched current electricity. Maybe three classes are there for current electricity. First class I attended, I made notes which all I feel is important. Okay, that notes will be in my language. That will not be in my teacher's language. I am attending my teacher's class. But notes, I am writing it in my language. Maybe it is Urdu, maybe it is Hindi or maybe it is combined together. Maybe it is Kannada. Maybe all the languages are, are there in that notes. Because it is my notes, right? I will write it in the way I am comfortable to write and I am comfortable to later come back and read. Correct? So, I prefer loose sheets. For first class, I wrote some two sheets, you think. Second class, I wrote some two sheets. Third class, I wrote some two sheets. Later, I went to next chapter. While uh, attending the class for the next chapter, I realized uh, some multiple choice questions are there which I have to put in that first el current electricity chapter. Or some points are there which I have to put there. Or somewhere I was browsing in some internet, I found. Or someone, my friend told that this question is important. At that time, I will make notes in another new sheet and I will put it in that group of sheets. Okay. You can do like that or if you are comfortable with the notebook, after finishing one chapter, you have to leave 3-4 pages so that if you get any points, you can come back and write there. After every chapter, 2-3 blank pages should be there in your notebook. Okay, so that is how you have to make notes. If you are watching the class without making notes, what is the difference between watching a movie and watching a class? Maybe I am sounding little rude but... You question this to yourself. Is there any difference between watching a movie and watching a uh, class related to your subject if you are not writing it? Next one, very important point is no copying. No copying means when I am telling you to make notes, I am not telling you to write whatever is written in my presentation. You have to write whatever you require, whatever you need. Whatever you have understood, whatever you have not understood, whatever you are feeling is important, okay? Or any short tricks is there in the class or any formula is there in the class that you have to write. Writing means not copying, okay? If you are taking more time, you pause the video. You pause the video and you write. That's the main reason why we are providing recorded classes. If we give live, live classes, you will not have time to do all that. Recorded classes, what will be there? You watch the video, you didn't understand, you pause it, you try to write something. Still, if you didn't understand, you rewind the video, you go back, watch again, then you write it down. You will have your own comfortable time, you will have your own free space to make notes and to watch the lecture. That's the reason why we are providing a recorded class, right? Even you can watch at your own time also. You can watch in the night, you can watch in the morning, you can watch in the afternoon. Anytime you can watch that class. That will be available till your exam date. Okay. When I tell that no copying, 
different people have different procedures of learning they have their own ways of learning some people like to use colorful pens some people like to use highlighters some people like to make mind maps whatever attracts your mind you have to make your notes in that way okay i prefer mind maps only many times i prefer mind maps colorful pens and all i am not comfortable with maximum i can do is i will underline the very important line or i'll put inverted commas for that important line okay mind maps is the best thing in mind maps whatever class see if i have taken half an hour class you can finish the notes in half page if you are making mind maps as i told you earlier also if you want exact things which i have presented you can take screenshot of it or if you find any uh, much of text is there in particular slide you can take screenshot of it but then taking screenshot is not feeding your phone you are not giving food to your phone by taking screenshot taking screenshot means you should come back and revise to that screenshot or at least you take the print out and put it along with those loose sheets for that particular chapter okay so that you can read later now the most important and the concluding thing is that you should have discipline in making notes and also studying both things require discipline discipline in making notes means today i wrote in one sheet i kept it somewhere tomorrow's class i wrote in another sheet i kept it somewhere i don't know where those sheets are what is the use of writing then whatever you write today you should make one folder take one plastic folder or take one clip or take one thread anything today you wrote in one page tomorrow you wrote in another page you have to combine them together and keep you have to organize your notes for you can organize your notes chapter wise or you can organize your notes subject wise i prefer organizing my notes chapter wise because in one chapter particular type of questions will come in one uh, chapter sometimes four questions will come in another chapter sometimes only two questions will come in the exam the multiple choice questions so i like to organize my notes chapter wise okay so this is the discipline you have to follow maybe you all have kids also in your home if you are throwing the paper somewhere the kid he may tear that page right then whatever work hard you have done it's all gone in vain that's why when you are working hard for yourself you should also learn to protect your notes your notes should be available with you till your exam date even on the day of exam if in the morning you want to see something means it should be ready in your notes if you want to revise something means it should be ready in your notes because when you are writing you will try that you will write in the shortest form right no one like to sit and write long long stories right if you write your notes you will try to make it as short as possible which will be easy for you to revise it just before the exam before the exam or before one week of the exam maybe before two days of the exam maybe okay so the discipline in gathering the notes is required it is must same discipline you have to put in studies also today i read something tomorrow i will read something you should write it down you should make a time table and keep okay you all must do this if you really want to clear hstr if you really want to get your name in the selection list of hstr okay last read read and reread you have to read whatever you have written at that time or whatever you have written will get printed in your mind exam time while writing the exam while ticking the answers if any concepts comes that printed things which are there in your mind in your handwriting will reflect you that reflection will make you to tick the correct answer okay that's why you have to read and reread the notes which you have made okay i am not telling you to watch my classes many times one or two watches must okay still if you require to watch more you can watch i am not stopping you from watching but i am telling you one procedure to follow to prepare for this exam that's all it's your wish how many times you want you can watch it whatever i told you no know, it is not only for people who are paying me the fee it is also for the people who are attending my free youtube classes for you all also you all should also follow same procedure then only you can achieve something in your exam so all the best friends my intention is good i hope that you all understand my intention i am your well wisher i want all good things to happen with you i wish good for you all okay